Besides Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo, there are still quite a few important people that had plenty to announce at this year's E3, the developers. So here's a look at each and the news you won't want to miss out on. First up is Bethesda, and while it was their first press conference at E3 ever, they definitely still had a lot of important stuff to unveil, like what many are still drooling over, the new Fallout 4 trailer. A little more about the game was shown bringing a sneak peek at the game's crafting mechanics, a free to play app called Fallout Shelter, and what many have been waiting for, a November 10th release date this year. Other Bethesda announcements at this year's conference included the unveiling of Dishonored 2, a new look at the Elder Scrolls, and a new Doom game equipped with plenty of new modding tools arriving spring of 2016 for the PC, Xbox, and PlayStation consoles. EA, wow, yeah, they had a lot to show off this year too, with what's probably one of the most anticipated titles to be released this year, Star Wars Battlefront. On stage, a new gameplay demo was shown showing off the beautiful landscapes from the movies, as well as the type of the intense action players can expect when the game is released November 17th for PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Other important news included what's being called the definitive version of Need for Speed, full of customization options, Mass Effect Andromeda will arrive during the holiday season of 2016, and a trailer for Mirror's Edge Catalyst showed this new game also arriving next year. And with a brand new title like Unravel and regulars like Madden 16 and NBA Live 16 making appearances, it was definitely a packed event for EA as well. And next to the stage was Ubisoft, where lots of big titles return like Ghost Recon and the new form of Ghost Recon Wildlands. South Park is back with the Fractured But Whole coming next year, and of course there was Assassin's Creed Syndicate. The long-awaited game The Division finally got a release date of March 8th, 2016, so it looks like I'll be sitting on the edge of my chair for a little longer. And Rainbow Six Siege was shown with Angela Bassett as the leader of the team with an October 13th release date and a multiplayer beta starting September 24th. Finishing things off with Square Enix with news regarding previously announced titles as well as some new ones too. A new gameplay trailer for Just Cause 3 was shown and the game will be released December 1st this year. And titles like Rise of the Tomb Raider, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, and World of Final Fantasy received a little more attention on stage as well. New gameplay footage was shown for both Kingdom Hearts 3 and the new Hitman game which is set to release early 2016 for PC, Xbox One, and the PlayStation 4. And some announced new titles included a sequel to Nier, Tomb Raider Go, and also a Final Fantasy portable app. Boom, there you have it. There is a quick recap of all of the press conferences from all of the developers at E3 2015. There was a lot of news. I'm especially excited for Star Wars Battlefront, Just Cause 3, and a whole lot more. But we want to know, what did you think about these announcements? Feel free to let us know in the comments section below. There's still plenty of more E3 news, so don't miss out on any of it. Keep it locked to Digital Trends.